By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a list with a search bar, and you should be able to change the color coding as well. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another Thunkable Tip. This is uh, continuing our series on lists and list pickers and spinners. Today what we're going to do is we're going to create another new app and this one is going to be all about the list uh, view. So um, stay tuned for more. Okay, our user interface is going to be very, very simple. We are going to create a list view and all the items within this list view are going to be searchable. So if you saw the tutorial on the list picker, you'll understand that the elements from the string are going to be comma separated. So that means that every time you want to put a new item or a new element into your list view, you just place a comma after it. So I'm gonna go for um, days of the week, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday, like that. Okay, these items appear on our screen. Uh, the usual sizing properties are available here. We'll set it to fill parent. You can change the selection color and the background color of the list and the text color of the list. Uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, get a blue color here, let's say. Uh, what we might do is we might uh, make the text a little bit bigger as well. So in order to make everything searchable, this is the property that we're interested in. It's called the filter bar like that. This puts a um, little search bar at the top of your app. So without any code at all, let's go. I've got live testing running here in my other tab. Uh, without any um, coding at all, let's have a look here. So we've got um, our um, search list, let's say. Uh, if we type in T, we can see that we've got Tuesday and we've got Thursday. If we type in any other letter, then um, it searches then based on, on the the spelling of, of the elements. So let's let's do a little bit of coding here then. Um, when the, the list viewer here after picking, uh, so you're able to obviously choose something from the, the list picker, it's, or the list view, excuse me, the list view after picking, you're able to choose something out of that. Um, we've got the same thing, elements, elements from string, um, and we've got our selection, selection color, selection index. So uh, let's just start off by showing the selection index in the title, just to have a, an understanding of how that works. So our screen one title property is going to be the number, let's say, of the element or the item in the uh, in the list. Uh, so over here then, let's pick on any of these ones here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you can see then that the item keeps going up and up um, like that. The next thing then that we might do is, uh, actually while we're there, let's um, filter this as well. So let's, uh, earlier on if we were searching, uh, we started typing in T, if we type in Tuesday, that's the second, uh, the index here that it shows is the index in the original list. Thursday was the last item, it was the fourth item, so uh, the index that it shows is, is four, like that. Uh, okay, so uh, what we can do then is we can change the selection color, change the text color, any of those kind of things there as well. After picking, what we'll do is we'll change the selection color to be uh, this kind of color, like that. Right. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways. This is a very uh, quick and easy um, tip, let's say, to create a searchable list, uh, how to style that list, and uh, how to get the index of the items from that list. Okay, uh, so if you uh, like this tip, uh, don't forget to click the like button. If you want to see more tips, click on subscribe. And if you have any questions, as per usual, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get around to them.